Hey all, this is Bob, aka Mr. Reef Safe, and today I'm going to be unboxing not the old HANA Master Checker, but the new one with Bluetooth. So I'm going to do more than a little bit of an unboxing. I'm going to talk about what's in here as well. I've had this now for a little bit more than a month, and I just haven't had time to do anything with it. So I wanted to give it the uh, just as it was deserved and take my time and do it properly. Um, this is something that I got from HANA itself. Uh, it was not free, but it was not full cost because you know they understood I was going to be doing a review video on it and uh, they, they gave it to me at a discounted price. Uh, why am I saying that? Because I want to be completely honest, uh, especially with the way that influencers are on uh, the internet now, I wanna make sure that anything that I might be doing to influence people, they understand where it's coming from. Uh, my goal is not to influence people to buy this, but to give a review about it. Um, the old Hannah Checker, the master checker that I have, I've had for about two years. And while I like it, there's a lot of things I don't like about it. And in my review video of this one, I talked about how that if you're only gonna check a certain number of parameters, you know, the, the major ones, it's probably not worth it because this is $400 when it came out and you could get a bunch of HANA checkers for that, about $50 each. You could get more HANA checkers than you could for testing with this. This tests for seven items. This one checks for nine items and retails at $450. That's important because again, uh, even though it has more things to check, it still would be cheaper to buy the individual checkers than to buy this. So the question is, why would you want to buy this in the first place? Well, I hope that I'm gonna be able to answer some of that in this video. And again, I don't think it's a necessity. I think that this is a nice thing to have. It's a fun thing to have. If you're really into the gear, then I would highly suggest this. Uh, so just looking at this at a glance, you know, you got, you got a bunch of the different reagents and you have uh, the tools that you need to, uh, of course, uh, test those parameters. And on the back of the uh, cardboard that it was sealed in, it does say that it tests for, and it includes the reagents for uh, calcium, nitrate, ultra low range, alkalinity, phosphate, ultra low range, pH reagent, nitrate, magnesium, and ammonia. It does not contain the nitrate low range, even though it will test for that, and uh, it does not include the uh, calcium check standard culvits. Um, so I'm assuming those are things that you can get aftermarket, you know, buy as extra, but I would say that the marine nitrate low range is not a necessity unless you are like really doing some kind of research or you're in a lab. Um, but if you're in a lab, you're probably not going to use this in the first place. Uh, so it's not what I would consider a necessity. The high range, the ultra high, the high range is more than enough for checking nitrate. So uh, it comes with the batteries. It looks like this takes three batteries and I'm gonna open this one side by side just to give you a comparison. And this is the old one. Again, I've had it for two years and I will tell you that I really, really did like it, even though the checkers themselves would have been more than enough. Now the difference, the major difference right away is this one has Bluetooth connectivity with an app on your phone. This one does not. Uh, this one will also uh, store more parameter uh, readings over time than this will. I think this one does 10. I think this one does 100. Uh, it also comes with more reagents than this one does. And outside of that, it's just got more tools for the different testing. Um, in complete honesty, I will probably use this to check my phosphate and nitrate and... I'm probably not going to use it for calcium because calcium is a little bit more difficult and I have a uh, uh, the Neptune Triton on my tank already, uh, but I, I will check it from time to time against that just to see if I need to calibrate my Triton. I don't calibrate my Triton as a general rule, even though they suggest you do it, because if it's reading close enough, I'm good with that. Uh, so it's nice to have this as a backup. So I will check the phosphate and the nitrate. Uh, I will probably once in a while check my, uh, where is it? 
the alkalinity, which I think this is the alkalinity reagent right here. No, that's ammonia, alkalinity reagent. I can't imagine checking ammonia that often, although if I'm helping a client that has a new tank, I might just do that. Um, let's see, it has magnesium, which I've, I've never personally tested magnesium on my tank. And again, my, my Triton has that, so I probably will not use that, but it's nice to know I have it if I need it. Uh, and let's see, ammonia, ammonia, uh, calcium, and then I think that's calcium. Uh, this is for pH, which I have the HANA pH pen, so I'm probably not going to use it for that. So really, I will use this for three, maybe four things. And if you want to get the checkers, the checkers are $50, $55 a piece. You can get the checkers much cheaper than you can get this. But I do like to have the all-in-one thing. The, the case is kind of neat. So if you're kind of a gearhead like me, uh, and you like to have the, all the tools and, and toys, and I will definitely say it's, it's not really a toy. It, it does work very, very well, but for the sake of this video, it is a toy that you get. Um, I would highly recommend this. I really like uh, having all the bells and whistles. Um, that's one of the things I do like. So I really want to try this out and I do need to check my nitrate and phosphate. It's been a few days because I ran out of nitrate uh, um, reagent and I only have a few of the phosphate. Rather, I ran out of phosphate and I only have a few nitrate reagents left in this one. And now I have fresh new packs that I will be able to test and uh, be able to test my water on a regular basis. And I usually test my nitrate and phosphate two, maybe sometimes three times a week. Um, that doesn't mean that I do it every week, but most weeks I do uh, because I have a problem keeping my nitrate and phosphate higher. They keep wanting to bottom out. So uh, just on a glance, this looks really good and I will be using this and testing it out and I will give you uh, my thoughts on it. But my initial thoughts are if you don't have a lot of money to spend, get the individuals, get the phosphate and nitrate checkers and maybe the pH pen, um, and then uh, the calcium one, even the individual one is kind of difficult, so I would, in that case, recommend getting one of the titration kits. Uh, there's a lot of good ones like Salifer, and uh, I, I like the Tropic Mar Marin one. Um, so that's it, that, that's kind of the unboxing of it. Uh, it's kind of cool looking at this. Oh, and it comes a little soft cloth. I know the other one did too. I use my own, but... Uh, it's, it's pretty intuitive based on this one. I think this one will be fairly intuitive and I can't wait to download the app and I will talk about that in an upcoming video. But this is it. This is what it looks like and I can't wait to get into it. Well, thanks for watching y'all. Have a great day.